Years ago, Phil Jackson would tweak the NBA refs. Lakers coach Phil Jackson, Bulls coach, he would tweak the refs. And the NBA would often fine him. Uh, Don't talk about refs during a series, trying to manipulate the series. Well, the Rockets did that and then some. The Rockets tabulated the net result of 81 potential missed calls and non-calls in Game 7 of the series between the Rockets and Golden State, and they leaked it to the media, and it was obtained by the place I used to work. The Rockets had a full report listing 81 blown calls that cost the Rockets 18 and a half points, 18.6. They went full analytics nerd. Uh, the Rockets also argue that veteran officials exhibit the most biased against our players. Oh, God. This is a backfire move. This is intentional and a timely leak to influence the refs tonight. By the way, I, I just want to know, all you geniuses in Houston, in that analytics report, did you have the part where you went 0 for 27 on threes in that game? What Was that in the report? Remember that? You had that stretch in that game. You were 0 for 27 on threes. Was that included in the report? Oh, that was an omission. So let's blame it on the veteran officials. As I said yesterday, veteran officials don't fall for this BS. They don't fall for this hardened, flopping soccer stuff. Um, I'm the NBA. I hand out a huge fine to the Houston Rockets. This is not tweaking the NBA. This is trying to embarrass the NBA. They went full analytics nerd here, and I don't think it's going to work. And you know what they say about karma? Karma is a you-know-what. Scott Foster is refereeing the game tonight. Scott Foster has a long-running feud with James Harden and Chris Paul. The Rockets are 0-6 in the last six games Scott Foster has officiated. Now, maybe the Rockets, they knew he was officiating tonight because that's assigned a while back, and they thought, let's get ahead of it. But I think this comes across as they're trying to uh, embarrass the NBA. I think it's a terrible look, and I think Adam Silver should find them. Um, Listen, let's be honest about this. The Rockets' formula to get to the championship was more calls and more free throws. This is where analytics fails. This is where analytics fails. Here's what analytics does not tell you. That the NHL, the NFL, and the NBA do not want calls, free throws, and penalties deciding Super Bowls. So in all those sports, NBA, NFL, and NHL, refs swallow their whistles in the playoffs. And the further it goes in the playoffs, NFC Championship asks the Saints... Ask the Rockets last year. The further playoffs go, the more viewers, the more the games mean, the more hockey, football, and basketball officials get out of the way. Analytics. Did did analytics tell you that, Houston? Um, What the NBA doesn't want is what the NFL faced years ago, where Joy and I would come on the air this fall, and when we talked about big games, we just talked about games. But a year earlier, I would come on my show and talk about catch, no catch. And Roger Goodell came on my show and said, we don't want every game. We're literally talking about the interpretation of rules. We want you to celebrate the NFL. We want to have fun. Never forget this. I said this yesterday. Leagues have a right to their own interpretation and their own officiating territory. Houston's trying to manipulate officials. Never forget this. Remember this, Joy, a couple Super Bowls ago, Eagles, Patriots. All year, we complained about catch, no catch. And in the Super Bowl, the NFL did not tell the Eagles, did not tell the Patriots, did not tell Belichick, did not tell Doug Peterson, did not tell the teams. The NFL decided in that Super Bowl, common sense prevails. If it looks like a catch, it's a catch. They went against their own rule, and they gave nobody a heads up. And you know why they did? Because they're the league. And my boss can do what they want. And the NFL can do what they want. And the NBA can do what they want. And the NFL decided without giving anybody a heads up, we're not going to have the Super Bowl turn into a seven-day argument over the interpretation of a catch-no-catch rule. And they knew they were going to change the rule, and they did a month later. And the NBA knows they're going to change this landing area rule. They know they're going to do it in the offseason. And they're not going to let these playoffs, and this is the finals, let's be honest. The Rockets-Warriors, probably the finals. I mean, I I picked the Celtics to beat the Warriors, but this feels like the finals, right? They're not going to have this series dominated by, well, the interpretation of the landing rule. 
common sense is going to prevail. And this is where analytics falls flat. I've told Daryl Morey this. I like analytics. I'm not anti-analytics. But I'm a big believer that you cannot reduce sports to numbers. These are humans. These are athletes. I'd pay money to watch Harden. I'd pay money to watch Westbrook. I want to pay money to watch Brady and LeBron. These are the world's greatest athletes we're watching. Let's not reduce them to a spreadsheet. Now, I think numbers matter. I think they matter. But the reality, the reason Brad Stevens and Kyrie get along better today than two months ago, because they talk because they're human beings, not human doings, not numbers on a spreadsheet. Houston is trying to reduce this series to a spreadsheet. And the NBA is like, nah, no, no, we're not doing that. And the NFL did this two years ago in the Super Bowl. They said, no, 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 no. We're not going to have this game become a six-day schlog of guys like me and, and women like Joy coming on the air and complaining for six days about officials. We're not going to have it. And so the NFL didn't give anybody a heads up. They said, no, we got to change things right now. And that's what the NBA is doing, and I applaud them. If you try to manipulate officials, and that's what Houston's doing here, leaking this memo, flopping, they're manipulating. The referees, the league is saying, okay, we're, we're going to take a little territory back, and we're not going to give you a heads up. We're not going to release a memo. We have a right as a league to take a little bit of this territory back. I don't want you to have a relationship with the officials. There's rules. You're a player. I don't want you to be able to curry favor, buddy up. I remember years ago hearing a story where a Major League Baseball umpire every year asked Barry Bonds for some autographed baseballs for his charity. I don't want that. I don't want you to have great relationships with the officials. I don't need them to be awful, but I don't want you currying favor with them. And it's not an official's job to, to by the way, invite you to birthday parties. I'm Scott Foster. I'm a ref. I, I've, so I've, I, I officiated in college. For, to make money and intramurals. And the first thing I learned very quickly, don't smile, don't laugh, don't frown. Poker face, entire game. I wanted to be as robotic as I could. I didn't want anybody to think they made me mad, they made me happy, I had any influence. Because if I smile to Harden, that means the guy guarding Harden thinks I like Harden. When I officiated, and I again, I, this was like two years of college, my whole thing was robotic. I wanted nobody to think there was any influence. That's what Scott Foster does. That's what veteran NBA officials do, mostly. They get out of the personality business. I don't, Ed Hockley and his gun show, I could do without. Dick Bavetta and his humor, I could do without. I don't want a lot of ego. I don't want to know your personality. I don't want you being friends with the players. Come in, make calls. Thanks for flying United. Well, there's a reason there's no name on the back of their jersey. Thank you. I, and I can't think of a worse job for you. I know. I had, I had to be a robot. That's, that is not hey, for you. <laughs> $8 a game at Eastern Washington, it paid for a lot of beers. I mean, I mean that's, that's good pay. <laughs> $8. I'd do three games a night, 24 bucks. That's there a was decent a, college, college job. No, it's what you do. Divorced parents, guys got to eat. You ref it's for two years. Job for you. I can't see you holding a straight <laughs> face for two minutes. I was the Scott Foster. Nobody liked me because <laughs> I wouldn't have any relationships with any of the guys. Because I'd see them on campus and they'd be like, hey, you're the ref of the... Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.